Hey everyone, Dave here, and welcome to Neko Atsume Perfect Overview. This is definitely a game. <laughs> like, I suppose this whole Neko might be known, cause it seems too specific with the concept, art style, and everything that's happening here. As always, I'm open for every concept on the planet, though this is definitely a new one that I never think it would come to VR. <laughs> So Neko Atsume Perfect is a cat collecting simulator game where at your own home you'll be invaded by the bloodthirsty beasts that destroys everything that is on their way and fear for your life in this feline horror game. Very specific art style and graphics, borderline basic but heavily stylized with the contours and various design of the cats. This is a pure simulator game so I expect some high quality interactions and to really feel the presence of of those animals and actually come across as living creatures with their behavior patterns. It's easy to disregard concepts like that because we're so used to have just serious gaming and pursue the best, most intense and crazy experiences out there, but this one clearly takes a different route and doesn't really pay attention to what's going on around it. I'm surprised this is not running on the OG Quest, though maybe it has some deep mechanics going on that I don't see on the first glance, it is quite intriguing to say the least, like it really catches your eye. And who knows, maybe this is gonna be one of the best games on the store. I definitely have my mind open and ready for anything. <laughs> Let's go meet some cats. Welcome to Nekatsume, entice cats to your yard and lock them. Like hit them? <laughs> All in your cat book. Like some kind of Pokemons. You can attract cats by providing playthings to play with and snacks to eat. Daily password? I like that things are actually tractable instead of just pressing with your indicator <laughs> Well, I spoke too soon <laughs> In yellow area, so not everywhere. I'll see later the settings, but there's also merch. It really is like Pokemon. <laughs> Feel free to touch it. Okay. What the? I need to access the settings. Oh, 
Okay, let me adjust some stuff because we have vignette going on and all of that. So it's not like we can actually travel around the house and garden. I really thought that's gonna be the case. Cause it just makes sense, right? And there's nothing about the movement at all. So I'm a little bit confused. What about the interactions? You're busy, huh? Hello? Think is that because I can't move, I won't necessarily approach him, so... What do I do here? I'm trying to peruse the garden. We actually have only three spots. Is this, this, and third one. Nowhere else you can move, which... Is a shame for a VR game. Hey, where are you going? Mate! What now? I'm just left alone with my thoughts here? <laughs> what is this? Oh my god! And I can't grab it because... Yeah, that's just the weirdest mechanics of the game. I got a gift from him. So they pretty much just leave you after playing with some stuff and then bring you some money. <laughs> it's like a cat hotel. Okay, interesting, but nothing's happening. You just literally wait and Pray that something comes along your way. Ah, there's another one. That's the game thing. That's what you asked for for this game. <laughs> How do I even lure him? Yeah, ignore me. Hello! Do I have something? My god! Oh, at last! Do I do something? <laughs> so they said I can pick him up or something. But how? <laughs> yeah, go back to your bucket. When your money finishes, there's not much else to do. Oh, there's another one. They literally just eat and then have fun in my house. Oh, at last. But why this unlocks now, and before it was not working at all? Okay! <laughs> cool, but I would like that... tip. Before. <laughs> so we just snap our fingers and then they can come to us. But still, it would be way better if I could just walk up to them and I have a prisoner. Actually, interact. 
Oh my god, it's getting crowded here. I guess this is cute for what it is, but I really would think it would be more complicated and interactive since there's not much else going on. And we can't even go to him unless we snap the fingers. And it's also random. Not everyone will come to you on your command. So I mean, I had some hopes for it, though I don't necessarily know if that's what I was expecting. Graphics are like they are. I was not expecting any less or more. Heavily stylized resolution isn't bad, so it's fine. But yeah, for 20 bucks, I think there has to be some more stuff going on in terms of just pure VR.